as you're well aware, for several weeks now, there's been a lot of incidents. Many of them have been drive-ins where we've had people driving cars into Israelis. A number of people have been killed. We've also seen an acceleration of provocations between Israeli settlers and Palestinians. There were violent clashes overnight and the army was brought in. So all of this is fueling into that kind of situation. We've had a comment just a few hours ago from the United Nations Mideast East or a third Palestinian uprising. As you're well aware, for several weeks now, there's been a lot of incidents. Many of them have been drive-ins where we've had people driving cars into Israelis. A number of people have been killed. We've also seen an acceleration of provocations between Israeli settlers and Palestinians. There were violent clashes overnight and the army was brought in. So all of this is fueling into that kind of situation. We've had a comment just a few hours ago from the United Nations Mideast envoy urging the Israeli authorities to conduct a prompt, thorough and transparent investigation. And this is precisely because people are worried that the situation now will spiral or could potentially spiral out of control. I mean, we've also had a comment from the Palestinian Prime Minister, and I'm quoting now, that Israel will pay.